Hey everybody, uh, Sam Mellinger here with the Kansas City Star and another episode of the Mellinger Minute. Uh, I want to talk one more time about the story that ran in yesterday's paper on Sunday about Satchel Paige throwing his last Major League Baseball game for the Kansas City A's um, at Municipal Stadium. That's right here. This hangs in my living room. My dad got this for me a couple years ago at the Plaza Art Fair. It's like one of my favorite things that we have in this house other than my son, dog, and wife. So anyway, uh, I had been looking forward to writing this story um, ever since I realized that the anniversary was coming up. And, and first, I want to give a huge, huge thanks to uh, Bob Kendrick, uh, who runs the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum at 18 and Vine. If you guys haven't been there, if even if you have been there, but it's been a few months, I, it, it's such a cool part of Kansas City, whether you're uh, a baseball fan or not. And Bob does such a good job putting his heart and soul into that place. He, he was an enormous help uh, to me uh, in putting the story together. Uh, so I want to give a big thanks to him. Uh, a couple things I didn't get to put in the story. Uh, there were 9,289 people there. And i feels like I've heard from about 15,000 of those people, you know what I mean? Uh, one of those people uh, I called was Rick Sutcliffe, um, you know, who grew up in Kansas City, won the Cy Young Award, I think in 1984. Um, and anyway, I called Rick because he's 59 years old right now, which was the age that Satchel was when he pitched that game. And I just, I, I had no idea how the conversation would go. I just wanted to know, can you imagine pitching a big league game at your age? And he said, I was at that game. He said, I'm sure you could find 150,000 people uh, who will say they were at that game, but I promise you I was at that game. And he actually said that uh, that, that watching Satchel that day had something to do with, with him wanting to be a major league baseball player, which I thought was, was really, really cool. And one other thing I want to get to here, uh, if you... You, this is like one of those famous like satchel things but he had uh, six I think it's six rules of, of staying young because he was just such a sort of ageless ageless figure uh, in baseball and I want to read those to you uh, the first one was avoid fried meats which angry up the blood the second one if your stomach disputes you lie down and pacify with cool thoughts that could work for me today uh, number three keep the juices flowing by jangling around gently as you move Number four, go very light on the vices, such as carrying on in society. The social ramble ain't restful. I like my vices. Number five, don't look back. Something may be gaining on you. And number six, avoid running at all times, which I think a lot of us probably follow without realizing it. What, one thing I thought was cool, uh, I didn't realize this until researching this piece, but those rules actually uh, sat on the desk of uh, Dwight Eisenhower uh, when he was the president of the United States, which I thought was, was pretty cool to hear. There's a lot more uh, that I couldn't fit in the story and, and that I can't fit in this video right now, but I'm telling you guys, if you have a spare afternoon, um, it's such a cool place to go down there to the Negro Leagues Museum. Um, if you get lucky, Bob Kendrick will be around and he'll be able to give you a tour. But even if not, uh, it, they have so much going on there. It just really is uh, such a cool place. One, one of the best things about Kansas City. So anyway, thanks a lot for reading. Um, look for uh, Twitter Tuesday tomorrow. Um, please send me if you want any questions answered on video. Uh, on Twitter. I'm at Mellinger. Also find me on Facebook or you can just send me an email. As always, uh, please follow our work in the pages of the Kansas City Star and on KansasCity.com and our thousand apps for all the teams in the area. Thanks for watching uh, and thanks for reading. Bye-bye guys.